Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Mi amigos! The hey, myth. buddy! The myth. The <laughs> legend. <laughs> hey, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Welcome to Colorado, brothers. <laughs> What's up, brother? What's up? Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Yeah. We got a little tent set up for us, guys. Nice. All right. Yeah, we uh, got some wood. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, man, you'd be busy. Hey, would you believe that we went and cut all that, dude, this afternoon, Mira? Yeah. All that? Yeah. Nice. And in there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm not, I can't lie to you. Wow. So man. somebody cut it for first rifle and there was nobody in their spot, like in a camping spot. So yeah. we just went and stole all the firewood. <laughs> Deer That's right. here. Yeah, when we set this tent up, there was four tracks of deer yeah. tracks coming right down this road. Well, you got them tied up. Let's go look at them. Dude, did you tie them up? You don't, we don't need to tie them up. We have a tanner. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. He'll go over there and probably spot three real quick. <laughs> but Hank, this little deal. This is sweet. But Hank, nice, man. This is so much nicer than motel. Yeah. 45 minute drive. Yeah. Right? We're or here. In a little pop tent or a pop tent and, and every you know you're trying yeah. to stay warm this is if you get bad weather you just sit in here play poker, play poker. heck yeah i brought the poker chips all right what's this oh, so this here. is all oh, yeah. the this is all the hunts that we've done in this tent oh, okay. uh starting with my bull okay. that i killed in uh, uh 2020 then taking all my uh some friends deer hunting New Mexico elk, Nebraska deer, then my nephews when I took them, yeah, and cool. my daughter, my dad came, and then uh, cool. that was the next year, and then Colorado. So every time we use this, everybody signs it at the cool. end. So right. I kind of can have a yeah remember. a history. Uh, we got so we got spaghetti, we've got steak, we've got uh, pasoli. Ever yeah. had pasoli? We've got brats. We've got backstrap. I think that's it. Maybe they're oh, something else. Well, we're gonna eat like kids. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna eat well. Yeah, we don't shoot anything, but at least we'll eat more. Dave, Mike, and I all grew up in Las Cruces, New Mexico. One of the things, if you've ever been to southern New Mexico, that you know is chili, Mexican food, new Mexican food, mm -hmm. very important. Mike brought us some homemade red chili from Las Cruces, but you made it in Tennessee, yes. where you live. And, um, so this will be something we'll get to enjoy. Maybe huevos rancheros? Yeah, pozole. So oh, this is your yeah. pozole Yeah, mix. not all of it. It's pretty hot, so it'll be good. It'll be, it will we'll be, uh, we'll feel it twice. <laughs> That's yeah. right. right. I, shot it, I shot it 1,500 yards the other day, but we're not. Yeah. But it's, it, the thing about his rifle, it is just, it's heavy, but, <laughs> but it is, <laughs> exactly. it is right. so steady. And, and the trigger is really, really light. So you get okay. on, you all you got to do is pull and let the gun go. Right. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There'll, there'll be no offhand shooting, like okay. us walking through the timber shooting yeah. at things running away. Oh, yeah, the timbers. You, you excited to be out here, Mike? I am, yeah. This is great. I'm excited to... Be with some old buddies. I've spent a lot of time with here recently. So, when was the last time you guys were all together? Well, I guess it was um, summer of 2021. My son's wedding in Houston. No, didn't didn't we go to Austin after that? Oh, that's true. That's true. Then we I saw you in Pagosa, and then we went to Austin in in, 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 in October. That's right. That's right. We were in Austin together. So. October 2021, I guess. So about a year ago. When was the last time you were out here doing this, though? Deer hunting. Last time I went deer hunting was... The last in... time we went deer hunting together... Jeez, that was when we were in high school. We were in high school still. Yeah. That was when I shot that deer and I couldn't... You lost it. And I couldn't get you, I couldn't get back to it. Yeah. That's been a long time for you guys to hunt deer together. Yep. You know, you've hunted since then? Uh, I went elk hunting in, around Matros in 2013, Dave and I did, and we got two 
five by five bowls. Right. And uh, so. so, yeah, I guess since 2013, so almost 10 years ago. But hands down, the hunt of a lifetime by far was when Mike and I hunted Barbary sheep. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez, dude. Oh, we went to terrible. hell and back. Where was it? When did you do that? That was terrible. We did that in high school. We went there to. There weren't uh, very many Barbary sheep. We went now to. There's a ton. There's not, there weren't very many back then, were there? There were none. We were in. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Where were we, Mike? We were on the, oh, that volcanic area outside of. Um, Chorizo. Or yeah. Chor what's it called? Carrizozo. Carrizozo. Chor Chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> you are not even in the same category. It started with a C. But it has a Z in it. It's a couple of Zs. Oh, man, that was bad. Hey, were you ever successful out there in the Floridas? Yeah. Did you get one? Uh-huh. With my boat. Yeah, he was actually with me. He was filming over my shoulder. Oh. I killed a little Billy the last day of the second hunt. So that was 30 days I spent on that mountain. Oh, dear. So, that was a Ugh. that was a rough hunt. Ugh. We we had to we were chasing this band on up these cliffs, and we'd go down, and they were coming down, and then they'd go back up. So we'd have to hustle, hustle back up. And I got up, and we had like 30 minutes of light, and yeah. I fell down, and I'm laying on my back. Uh, like a turtle. <laughs> and I'm just laying there. No, even before that, uh, they go, uh, my dad was below, and another buddy was below, and they said, hey, they're heading back up. You guys gotta get back up to that point. They're gonna come right across there. And uh, I go, I don't think I can make it. Tanner goes, yeah, we can't. Come on, let's go. And he was grabbing my back of my pack and pushing as I was climbing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then I fell down and I go, he He's goes, like, you want help up? He's like, don't touch me. <laughs> he goes, yeah, he goes, you want help up? I go, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. But we came over the edge right as they were coming up and they kind of they saw you? freaked out and I came to full draw and they were bunched up and then they didn't know what to do and one cleared and I let the air out of them. That, that was still probably to this day was the most, that was, that's my, be, like my most memorable trophy. Yeah, that's some rough terrain over oh. there. Most... Dude, I'm getting motion sickness. <laughs> With me looking through those scopes, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that is, that's why we go off a tripod. Really? Man. Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm going to throw up? Yeah. It's but, the elevation. Yeah. So here, I, here's the thing. What what your eye is trying to do, your eye wants to stay in the center of that optic. Yeah. But when you're moving, yeah. your eye's doing this because it's always trying to go to the center where it's the clearest, uh -huh. right? And it does. It'll give you motion sickness or it'll give you a headache because yeah. it's eye strain. Because, like, if I watch YouTube videos and it's, like, an old camera or something it's all jostly, yeah. oh, forget it. I'll get sick to my stomach every time. Yeah. So I, I'm susceptible to motion sickness. But I'm sitting here <laughs> looking at like, oh, man, I don't feel so good. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they put a tripod in your pack? I did. I'm yeah. just being lazy. <laughs> That's all. I think of those bad boys, huh, Mike? Nice. That's, just, that's the way to glass. Yeah, the tripod's much better. Yeah. No, it's jiggly. Woo! Seriously, I thought, I think I might go over that tree and throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe it was something to do with elevation sickness or something. I don't know. You seeing some, Tanner? Yeah. How many you got? Um, right now I'm looking at three. This other group has probably seven or eight in it. But no bucks? Not that I've seen yet. It yeah, is. Sure. It is. It's. It's. Uh, this is a hunting for those with patience. Yeah. <laughs> we grew up. You just tough it out up and, up and just down the mountains. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody starts that way. 
Yeah. You just walk around and hope you see an animal. Yeah. Uh, and then you realize that your binoculars can do a lot of walking for you. Yeah, right. Oh, I see a deer. Really? Yep. Go get Trevor. It might be a buck. Where are you looking? All right, straight down here. In the snow? In the snow, yeah. How far? Go get go get Trevor for our tanner. Dude, they're way down there. Oh, are they way down there? How far, do you think? Oh, my, I don't want to lose it. Are you looking on this first ridge in front of us? No. Whereabouts? It looked like a, like, like a buck to me. It's not this first ridge, but the second one. The second one? Yeah. This, okay, so go up yeah. this one? Or? About halfway up. Like you see that like open snow patch? Yeah, like that's right, right around in there. Right around there, okay. Got her. Is she in the open, Mike? She's got her heavy on tree. That's some steep country over there, actually. It doesn't look that steep when you aren't looking through your binoculars. So what I was seeing is now gone. So she's sat behind a tree. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is making me sick to my stomach again. Ugh. <laughs> we may have to, uh, <laughs> Man. have to adjust it to your eyes better with the diopter. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, anything like that. These. Because they, they weren't quite sharp for me. Okay. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.